Oh peeps, how are we all doing? Uh, good I hope. Right, um, I don't believe I've had to make this video to be honest. Um, today, I nearly ran over someone because instead of watching where they were going, they stepped out into the road because their head was buried in their mobile phone. Now, it's a good job that one of us is aware of what, where we are and what we're doing. But what made me most annoyed was the fact that I'd stopped and stopped from running her over and then I got looked at as though I was the one at fault. I'm sorry, but I was turning right to go to the surgery to have my injection as normal. Yeah, and because of the fact that it's quite a quite an awkward junction, I was going slow. But I just noticed that, hold on, she's walking down the road with her head buried in her phone. So I stopped. I caused a bit of congestion on the um, on the junction, I must admit. But I saved her life. But then to be treated in that way, I find absolutely disgusting. And you see it all the time nowadays, don't you? I mean, I've this morning while doing lollipop duties, um, I had to stop a woman from using her mobile phone while she was driving. She was coming past the school and she was on her mobile phone where she was texting or whatever. Yeah, so her right hand is busy fiddling away on the end. Um, and again, I got looked at as though I'm the one at fault. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. It's illegal to use your handheld mobile phone whilst driving. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Um, and most cars nowadays have got Bluetooth. So, you know, you can make a call and you can answer a call, but to text or whatever you're doing while you're driving is absolutely disgusting, especially around a school area. Yeah. But in fact, doing it in any area is disgusting. But it just seems today that today's society is so engrossed in their mobile phones and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's like when you walk through shopping centres, they're walking towards you, head buried down, walk straight into you, bounce off you, and then look at you as if you're wrong. Maybe I'm getting them wrong, I don't know. But I'll be interested to find out what you guys think. Yeah. Today's society, I must admit, I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah. Everything is everyone else's fault. No one will take responsibility for their own actions. It's like here in Leicestershire, I found out in Leicester itself, there's a grant being made of over a million pounds putting more cycle lanes. I'm all for it, yeah, putting cycle lanes. But do you know what I really want? I want these cyclists, yeah, that moan about the fact that cars are getting too close to use the cycle lanes that we, the taxpayer, are paying to put in place for you. Yeah, not riding in the road, not riding on the pavement where pedestrians have got to be aware of you riding your bikes and everything. Yeah, but use the cycle lanes that, like I say, here in Leicester, they run about over a million pounds to be spent putting in so more so cycle lanes. I'm all for it, but I'd like cyclists to actually use the cycle lanes that are already in place. Yeah. Like I say, today's society, I'm getting sick and tired of it. Yeah. The inconsideration, the rudeness. I heard of a, an incident today whereby a car was parked on the pavement. The gentleman was trying to get by. He's disabled or he's hard of walking. So he banged on the door of the house that's where the house, um, where the car was parked. He was then abused by that car driver. Now, the pavement's there for pedestrians. The pavement's are there for mothers with their toddlers, with their pushchairs, prams, or whatever it may be be to walk safely now i'm pretty sure that car driver would be pretty peed off if a woman with a pram went down and scraped the side of his car yeah it's total inconsideration but it seems to be what today's society is about i stood up to give a woman a seat the other day young girl yeah 
and I was abused. I'd done what I thought was the best, you know, the right thing. That was the way that I was brought up, not dragged up. Yeah, when I see people such as women and uh, elderly uh, on the bus, yeah, I will always, always stand to give them a seat. Yeah, but then to be abused by someone because I've been polite, I've been friendly. Yeah, um, no, I've had enough of it. But like I say, let's see what we get for a few comments from that. Um, political correctness is at the window. I'm done with it. Yeah, I will say what I feel needs to be said. Yeah, even uh, except for the point where I'm going to get called a racist. Well, hold on a minute. Look at my skin tone, guys. 64 years worth of it here. My mum's from a little island in Centralina. My mom, uh, dad's a whitey from all the shop. Don't talk to me about racism. I've been subjected to it all of my life, through my childhood, in some cases through my military life. Yeah, so don't talk to me about racism. I'm not a racist. I'm a realist. Anyway, I hope you all have a good day. Rent over. I'm going to get myself ready because I'm lollipopping again this afternoon. So you all have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.